One, two, one, two, ready, kick it. Hello and welcome to Brighton and one of my favourite events of the year which is the Pride Celebrations. In this video I'll take you through a day documenting the happy, joyful vibes, trying to find a perspective on the event that you don't usually see. You can let me know in the comments if you think I've been successful or not. I started off early, like any good event photographer you want to get there before things get underway to try and capture moments. Maybe people getting ready or people on the way to the event, because often the parade itself isn't the most interesting bit of an event, it's the crowds and people there celebrating. Out by the train station I saw these two guys dressed with huge angel wings and everyone wanted a selfie. I noticed the shape of the wings from the back might make a nice frame and also maybe be a bit more unique than just a photo front on like everyone else was getting and I really like the result, it's a great way to start the day. Next we made our way into the city to find the main congregation of people. On the way I was looking for moments, something happening which might make for a good photo. These shots are just warm-up photos, getting into the mood and trying to lock in my observation for the rest of the day. Usually when I do street photography I'm looking for little moments that happen, something unusual or different, but when it's an event you can point your camera in pretty much any direction and capture things that are unusual, but that gets a little bit boring after a while and I don't really want loads of pictures of the same thing over and over. So I'm still trying to find little moments of humanity that stand out amongst the madness of the event. Again I'm still getting into the zone here, but stick around to the end of the video where I get some of my favourite shots of the year. Here though, I like the double red cowboy hats. I notice one of the girls is doing their makeup, so I keep my eye peeled to see if something extra happens. Her friend ends up pulling out her phone as a mirror, and it just adds something extra to the moment. Not a spectacular photo, but getting closer to what I want to capture from the day. Bands, buskers and street performers are easy targets for street photographers and in my opinion it's very hard to get an interesting shot of that kind of subject matter. Still it's definitely worth trying and practicing some compositional skills. I decided to get as close as I could to this band to try and convey a bit of the passion and dynamism of the performance. It's all about the crowd now as things were starting to heat up a little. I saw this group of friends dancing to the brass band and tried to capture a slice of the enjoyment. I got low to get a different perspective and got close to give a feeling of being in the action. This shot was just a bit funny to me. It's got nothing to do with pride or the celebrations really, but one of my triggers is I'm always looking out for writing on t-shirts or hats and this one caught my eye. It was funny to me as the guy just looked so grumpy and he really wasn't vibing at all, despite the festivities of what I said on his hat, so I snapped off the shot. While I'm at an event, I usually don't like shooting the parade itself as I can never get close enough to make a good photo. But here we saw the opportunity to actually get into the road and join in with the parade, so we just went for it. There were a bunch of people holding up a massive pride flag which made for a bold and colourful subject to include in the frame. I've got a bit trigger happy here trying to show off the scale of the flag and also including some details getting closer to hands. Sometimes I like to look out for the little details at an event too, it's not all about the big crowds.
then we just kind of went for it. Sometimes you just need to ask for forgiveness later rather than permission first, but none of the security really seemed to mind that we jumped in and out of the parade, so we took full advantage of it. I really like the perspective of this one, it's not the kind of viewpoint you'd usually be able to get at a parade, unless you're an official photographer. We followed along with the parade for a while, which was great because it meant I could look out on the crowd to see if there were any interesting moments or characters or details to capture. If I was sort of outside of the parade, it would have been really hard to have got the same kinds of shots because I'd just be behind everyone. I've really been loving shooting on film lately and don't currently have any plans to switch back to digital. One of the fun things about film is the happy accident and after I changed to a new role here, the first shot had a light burn, but I think it still really works. Now, I could have taken hundreds of photos here, but that's just another thing that I love about film. It forces me to be more intentional and be really considerate with my photos. I don't really find pictures of parades that interesting, there are plenty of event photographers for those kinds of photos. What I'm looking for is a moment or an expression or something happening rather than just a photo of a smiling performer. That's why I love this photograph so much. I waited to capture her expression as a big gust of wind came and that made it more captivating to me than if she was just smiling at the camera. Again, with this performer, rather than getting another portrait, I noticed he had a Pride Love Heart sticker on his ass, and to me, that was way more worth capturing than just a photo of them dancing. It's the little playful details that can sometimes say a lot. I especially like the first one, where I time it right to get someone taking a photo on their phone included in the frame too. If you're enjoying this one by the way, please hit the like button as it really helps spread the video to more people to see. And of course, drop a comment, I'd love to know what you think. At this point, I was just having so much fun. Something I've not really experimented with yet since I started shooting on film is using slow shutter speeds. So I tried one out here. It's not an amazing image, but I do think the blur adds to the feel of the moment. Something definitely to experiment with more in the future for sure. Hopefully the parade has stopped for some reason, which was actually really good because it meant I could just wander my way through, snapping off shots up close of bits that caught my eye. And what definitely caught my eye here were these three people in massive Pikachu costumes. Not something you see every day, even in a parade, and I knew there was a shot or two to be had. What caught my eye the most was how the window on each suit had fogged up and that the people inside seemed to be having the best time. I decided to spend a bit of time here waiting to see if I could capture a face through the plastic window and when I saw the scan I was stoked because it was quite an unusual image which is always what I'm on the lookout for. This one I saw the reflective visor on the costume and I was going for a selfie more than anything else. It didn't quite work out, but it was still worth a try. Now we were in full swing and I was really feeling it. I started to shoot a bit looser and was just looking for characters that stood out a bit from the crowd or the parade, also trying to find moments of emotion where I could. Here, a bunch of people were really getting into the spirit of the day and were having a great old dance. I managed to get one or two shots off of the action, but then I had to change roles so I didn't really get as close as I would have liked. I do really enjoy the second photo here though, uh, with the way all the hands seem to point up to the hat which is being held on by someone, so I really think it works.
We follow the parade some more, turning attention back to the crowds now. And while I don't usually find photos of the back of people's heads that interesting, I couldn't resist getting one of this guy with the rainbow painted perfectly on the back of his head. Again, another little detail that I think came out really well. Before I started the day, in my mind it was my goal to get 10 to 20 photos that summed up the day, trying to capture the parade and the crowd through emotion, colour, moments and details. So at this point I started to think to myself, what shots might I be missing? So I aimed to get some shots of the parade itself, and also more of the people just having the best time. I really wanted to capture the joy of the day. Here I noticed a bunch of people sitting up on a roof and I thought I haven't really got many photos showing more of the environment today, so I snapped it off. Maybe not the most interesting photo on its own, but as a part of a series I think it works really well. Here's a couple of random shots that I missed on the GoPro as we left the parade and headed up to the village party where I got my favourite photo of the day. In the meantime though, I especially like that the dog here looks a bit shocked at having its photo being taken. Even though I was mainly looking for pride photos, I saw this guy carrying a massive bear so obviously couldn't resist snapping off the shot. Just a little bit of fun. I noticed this lady blowing a vuvuzela out her window, which made for a fun shot, the pop of pink really making it work. The sound system was suddenly turned on and people really got into the party atmosphere and started dancing and having a great time. I snapped off a shot here of some folks having a blast. As we made our way back and forth through the crowds I was really looking for something to stand out to make a photo really work rather than just loads of photos of people dancing and that's when I noticed this woman carrying a flower. I really liked the moment and the colour and what's going on in the background too. Coming up in a second is probably my favourite photo of the day. I was thinking to myself there was so much love and happiness in the air but I hadn't got a shot showing that yet and just as I was thinking it I saw this couple have a really passionate kiss. The framing, colour, spacing and of course the really passionate moment all come together to make a great photo. The crowd started getting rowdier and we started to slow down and join in more than actually taking photos but that's when I noticed some folks were using a post box to dance on. Not what you see every day so I made sure to fire off a few shots, again getting up close to capture a little series to show the moment. From this scene though, it's this shot that I really enjoy. Something a bit different with a little bit of a story to it. I love that the hand is reaching out and grabbing the ankle of the person on the post box as well as the expressions of the people in the crowd. There's something about it and the photo really works for me. Making our way back through the crowd and I saw this lady in a banana hat and raised my camera to my eye to take the shot. Just as I did that, she noticed me and rather than a smile, which I really didn't want because that's boring, she winked instead and that was just perfect and really makes the shot work. 
I love the playfulness and the colour and the fun of the photo, it just sums up the day. And finally, I have no idea how this happened to be honest, but I saw this t-shirt I really liked and took a photo of it, but somehow I managed to advance the film to the last frame on three quarters of the way, resulting in this accidental panorama with a double exposure in the middle. I actually really like it, especially as it says good vibes and it's super trippy. Again, a really happy accident and something I'll never be able to replicate, so a great shot to end the day on. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'd love to know what you think in the comments. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.